Hello everybody, welcome back. This will be an update to my project Use It Up. This will be September progress, October goals. I did two hair masks a month like I usually do. I've been using the Oscar Blandy Moisture Recovery Treatment Balm. This is almost done. Then I can move on to a couple samples I have. I used up an antibacterial hand gel from Bath & Body Works. This was their Sun Ripened Raspberry. Like the scent, like the product. Glad to have this done. So now I'm at six antibacterial hand gels for the year when my goal was three. This is from Bath & Body Works as well. This is from their Signature Vanillas collection. This is Coconut Vanilla Fragrance Mist. I actually really enjoyed the scent. The vanilla and the coconut meshed really well. I have now hit six perfume shoes this year and my goal was three. I have no new nail polishes to show you. I finished a deluxe mini of Benefits Their Real Mascara. I like the wand a lot. I like that it lifts and separates. This is a great all-in-one mascara. So I have now finished 11 eye products this year and my goal was four. All right, so I was able to finish two full-size hair products. So this takes me to 10 for the year and my goal was four. I was able to finish the Silk Elements Color Care After Color Sealer. It was a treatment. I would use this after I did my roots. It was actually an okay product and it was nice to have something that was specifically formulated for after dyeing because the kit that I get from the dollar store doesn't come with any kind of conditioner with it. And then this is and then this is Lusty Organics Oil Moisturizer Hair Lotion. I really enjoy this one. This one is comparable to the Pink's moisturizer for the hair. This one has a great scent. It's a nice thick one. I get this from Dollar Tree. All right, I was able to do four sheet masks this month. 111 Skin Biocellulose Facial Treatment Mask. This was a really nice one. It's 85 pounds or $112.22 US for a set of five. They were so good though. I really enjoyed this, but I'm not going to pay that for this. Main Fit Mugwort Astringent and Pore Care. This was an okay mask. I didn't notice anything different about it. The same with these, the same with the Tony Moly I'm Real Lotus Sheet Mask in Luminating. It was supposed to, you know, add illumination to your face. I didn't feel that that happened. Main Fit Lily Whitening and Brightening. I actually really enjoyed this one. Now, when I first used it, I was a little disappointed because an hour later I was greasy. Or I, you know, I looked oily and greasy. I went to bed, woke up, my face was completely matte and dry. You know, it, it soaked in or did what it was supposed to do, so that was really nice. My face looked really nice when I woke up the following morning. So that was a really nice benefit to this. I am still trying to finish one more shampoo. This one should definitely be done the next time I wash my hair. This is the Alberto BO5 Nourishing Oasis Calm and Condition with Lavender and Chamomile. Don't like the scent, but it is a nice shampoo. It does what I need it to do. And I am still using the Herbal Essences Drama Clean. I was here last time and now I'm down here so I am still making steady progress. The Head and Shoulders 2-in-1 dry, dry Scalp Care with Almond Oil. I was here last time. I am down here now. So this one I don't use as much. And I did dye my hair so I did miss out on using it. And now this is the conditioner you didn't get to see last time but this is also from her. Herbal Essences, this is their Fruit Fusions Blackberry Avocado and Mango for Dry Damaged Hair. It's a hydrating conditioner. I was up here the last time. I'm down here now. It's a thick conditioner. I really enjoy it. I like the scent. I like what it does for my hair. 
So I finished a Jergens Ultra Healing Extra Dry Skin Moisturizer. I really enjoy this lotion. This is my preferred Jergens. So I am now at 13 for the year and my goal was 10. Alright, I want to use 10 shower gels this year and I was able to finish two last month. So that now takes me to 8 for the year with 3 months left to finish two. Which is so doable and definitely makes it easier to know that yes, I'm going to be able to finish this. Because at one point it was looking a little rough. But I finished the Cherry Blossom Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. I really like the scent. I, I enjoy the formulation of Bath & Body Works Shower Gels. They lather, they smell nice. I'm always clean. I never have a problem with them. This one was from Philosophy and Vanilla Birthday Cake. It was a 3-in-1. It was a shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. It smelled good in the container. But once you poured it out, it had this burnt smell to it and not a good burnt smell like a burnt sugar type of thing. This was weird. It was like a smoke. You know, <laughs> I don't want my... I don't want to smell like a charcoal bath you know that's not what we're trying to do I don't want to smell like a barbecue while I'm taking a shower this was an okay lather and it was a horrible bubble bath because I was like all right getting towards the end I was tired of the scent I was like let's make this into a bubble bath let's fill it up and you had to use so much and you still didn't get any bubble production like it was horrible and I'm very glad to be done with it and I wouldn't look back at it. So I was able to finish a travel size lotion. This is from Bath and Body Works and it's in Magnolia Blossom. It was a really nice clean fresh scent. I enjoyed it. It wasn't overwhelming. It's just a really nice light floral. So I am now at 12 for the year and my goal was 10. Alright, I have four lip products for the month, taking me to 22 for the year. My goal was 12. The From the balm, it's their Staniac. It was just a red lip tint in the vein of Korean Beauty. And it was an okay product. I wouldn't buy it. From Too Faced, this is their Lip Injection Extreme. It was just a clear gloss. I didn't like it at first then when I you know got it to work right I was like oh this is great but I knew it was drying to my lips so once a week and then towards the end it was drying out my lips completely and you'd have to spend a week trying to get them back to normal so that's not okay from be a bombshell this is their French kiss lip balm it's a light pink but I made sure just to use a little bit because it would leave a cast on my lips. But then this started to dry out my lips as well. It made it itchy just right around the perimeter of the lip. So that's a no-go as well. This, I really love this one. This is from Ulta, the Super Shiny Lip Gloss and Poppy. They no longer make this. They do have a red one, but it doesn't have the glitter to it. I haven't used any perfume samples this month, but I did hit my goal a while ago. So I finished three more items, not in a, samples, not in another category. So taking these to 20 for the year, and my goal was 12. This is from Redken. This is their Curvaceous No Foam Highly Conditioning Cleanser. I actually really enjoy this. I got this free from Ulta. They sent me a coupon in an email, so I went and got it. It's $10 for this alone, so that was a great coupon they sent. And I actually bought the full size. I used this on days when I dye my hair when I do the roots because this helps just make cleanse the back of the head and I really enjoy that and it doesn't affect the dye and then I used two of the Ulta Beauty oil free eye makeup remover pads you got 15 in each container they do sell a full size one that has like 80 of them in there this is a very thin pad so I was only able to do one eye with a pad you know use it on one side and flip it over 
it did remove all my makeup it removed waterproof it removed mascara eyeliner eyeshadow eyeshadow base it would remove um, my brow pencil so these are really nice products I am interested in buying the full-size one all right in this month I used five more skincare samples taking me to 48 for the year and my goal was 20 from Evoluji the intense intensive blemish serum I got this through Ipsy with some points this was nice to use I do think it actually it did help to calm down any inflammation or you know a small breakout but I don't know that it was amazing but it was nice to use from Basha, the Luminizing Black Mask. This is a pill-off mask. I actually enjoyed this, but it did drip a little. I don't know if it was like the sample or if it drips like that. But I would be interested in purchasing the full size. From Glam Glow, this is their Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. This is in the purple one. All their products smell like coconut to me. But this is the one that dries to silver. So you look like the Tin Man while you're wearing it. I enjoyed you know wearing it and it didn't drip either so that was really nice but I don't know that I felt that it did any firming for my skin but it was nice to use and then the last two are from Laneige the multi berry yogurt repairing mask and their water sleeping mask I wouldn't purchase either one the mask was weird and it's not what I like for my skin I didn't feel that it was repairing or moisturizing or doing anything really except getting on my nerves and then the water sleeping mask it wasn't moisturizing enough and I've used a few other with this light kind of gel texture the Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Cloud Cream and then the Dr. Jart Water Drop Moisturizer those are very much more moisturizing than this my face just does not enjoy these sleeping masks that they're, they're too thin and they hold no moisture for me all right you guys so that was my update to my project use it up I am making some really great progress still working on hair mask sheet mask those will be till the end of the year I have one shampoo to finish and that Alberto VO5 will be it and we will hit my goal and then conditioner will be the herbal essence, which is going to be a few more months on that one, which is okay because there's only one to do. And then the shower gels. I only need to complete two more. And I think I forgot to show you the one I'm using. It's from Zest. It's one of their fruit boosts. It's a revitalizing shower gel in pomegranate and acai berry. And it's supposed to be like two times the concentrate. I like the smell. It's really nice and moisturizing. Or I don't know that's moisturizing but it's cleansing and it lathers really well and I am like down to here on the container so that's not gonna be hard to use that's half the container because it's a 10 ounce container like the Bath and Body Works one so I'm very excited that one hopefully will be done by the next time you see me if not there will be a little left Alright you guys, that was my update. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well, peace.